What's going on, True Saying? Hey, man, I can't even talk to y'all about love, man. I want y'all to know about love, see? The world's already fucked up as it is, man. And you know, I'm still trying to get this understanding of love, you feel me? I'm still opening up my heart every day to new things. I swear, bro, like I learn the things, new, new things every day. You feel me? And I'm starting to notice that love is a, a way of life. You feel me? I start to notice that love is really like harmony. I start to notice that love is what matters, bro. When you got love, man, a lot of things can change. You could open up a woman's heart. You could open up a man's heart. You could open up a kid's heart once you show them that love and that, that you care for them. So you know where the world fucks up at, bro? Is that we don't care for one another, but we show no when it's time to come violent, we'll become violent. When it's time to be disrespectful, we'll be disrespectful. But one thing we have a hard a hard time is, is love, bro. And you know what fucks us up the most is being crabs in a barrel in the world. Not wanting to come together when it's time for it. Not always pointing a finger. Not always saying it's everybody else's fault. See, motherfuckers don't get it, bro. A lot of times, we might fall in love for the wrong reasons. See, people, what we taught love was, was abuse. That's what we thought love was. Mis uh, phys physically abuse, mentally abuse. You feel me? That's what we thought that shit was. We thought that was love. We thought getting our, thought getting our ass with was love, but that's not really love, man. That's abuse, man. Motherfuckers don't get it. You fuck up a kid's mind when you do that to them because it does, that, that's another generational curse of whooping their kid's ass and whooping your kid's ass every time doesn't have shit to do with what they what they go through, what they thinking about. Some kids just act bad and they need that, but some, the kids, some kids, on the other hand, do shit for attention and it's a better way to do things for attention. You just got to sit down and explain that to your kid. That's why I tell women now, I tell dudes now, a young baby that's one year old understand way more than what the fuck we think. They're young vessels, so they understand everything that's going on in this world. I love each and every one of everybody. That's why I give y'all these messages every day for y'all to understand. Like, bro, don't nothing change with me. I'm still actual truth. I'm still truth. I'm still Deshaun Key, no matter what the fuck it is. I got my flaws. I got my bad days. I got my happy days. But I love everybody. Just as well, everybody love me. No matter what the fuck the situation may be, it's not about who's better than who. Or who do this the better way. Or who do that the better way. It's about... If we can come together and make that person grow and love that person in that category that we need to love them in, that's all that matter. The, the, granted, you got a lot of motherfuckers that's just fucked up in the world and haters. Stay away from them motherfuckers. You got to be around people, loving people. Loving people is the best thing you can do. I still try to learn that shit to the day because I don't have that, but I have it now from a woman that actually loves me. So it, it's kind of different. Like, you feel me? So I'm still learning every day as I go. But I want every man to sit, sit here now and think about love, though, man. Think about the motherfuckers who love you because when you think about life, you never know what time you're going to go. And then you're going to think about, damn, I love that person so much. And you're going to have so much guilt in your heart about what the fuck didn't happen to you and your family. You're going to be like, damn, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. But you only can do but so much. But understand, you always have to show that love to that person you care about. Kiss your family, man. Hug your family that's around you because we living in difficult times right now. A lot of people are dying from COVID. A lot of people, like, like motherfuckers don't really understand, bro. There's so much shit that's going on around this motherfucking world. Government killing people. Shit. Young black kings dying around this motherfucker for no reason because their mind is so misunderstood and what the fuck we've been taught was so misunderstood. It's so much shit that's going on. And you know what's so fucked up? I just told my brother the other day, like, dog, if I can get, if we can get in front of the right people, the right men, if I can get in front of these young dudes and just give them a hug, I would, bro. That's all some people need, bro, is a hug, man. You feel me? Like, don't think I don't want a hug. Everybody needs a hug. Everybody needs some type of comfort in this world. A lot of motherfuckers sit here and act like they don't need nobody. But in reality, we all need somebody in this world. Motherfuckers act like we don't. That's why I say love matters, man. It, it, see, everybody don't know your situation. And they don't give them a right to come at your situation the way they do. People got to understand who you are and accept you for you. If a motherfucker don't accept you for you, then they truly don't love you. They truly don't love you for nothing. They just love what you do for them, not what you not what you can do for them. Not what you can give them, not what you can show them, not what you can feel for them. See, people don't get it. Being demonic and being fucked up in the head and false advertisement and lying to yourself is the worst thing that you could do in this world. Walking on love and walking on a st walking on love and walking on water and understanding and, and understanding the universe and understanding how the universe works for others and you opening up different portals of different portals of 
the rims and certain shit that's going on around you, a love and a whole bunch of nine, you start to understand like, bro, this world is what it is. But if I can make this world a greater good, I would. You start to see like, damn, man, it's so much negativity in the motherfucking world. A motherfucker will kill you just for being positive. And you like, fuck, man. But shit, man, I always tell people, die for what you believe in. Being positive, showing your people the truth, telling them the truth, telling them that love is the best way to lead in this motherfucking world. We all know what's fake around here. We all know people like us has been antagonized for what's real. See, when you tell the world what's real about the cosmos and you tell the world about what's really going on in the world and... and and neither wake they third eye open to all this fuck shit that's around us and understand it's not us that they're doing this shit. Think about it, man. A lot of kids with this shit nowadays is becoming crazy. It's becoming crazy. The TVs, the shit that's going on is raising our kids and a lot of people not loving their kids and raising their kids themselves. I want everybody to take this message as a great message today and understand the best thing that you could do is love and harmony and show the people that you love around you that you care. And it won't lead to violence or resort to violence because once you show the younger younger dudes that you care and the older dudes that you care and the women that you care, the world will become a better place. It takes time, but God's going to do the work. The gods have to do the work. And the man upstairs, the ancestors, every whatever y'all believe in, the man upstairs, the ancestors, whatever. Is going to do the work with you and it's going to lead you. Our ancestors is what builds, makes us, what makes us into the people that we are, what puts us into these situations. Today's word is just lead by love, man. That's it. Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.truth. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.